All right, yo, what is up guys? It's Logic Looks and today we are back with another video, man. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about how you can basically make some MT by investing into certain cards. We're gonna be talking about what some good investments are on the market right now. And we're gonna be talking about why and how to flip them and when to flip them. I'm excited to get into this, man. Honestly, snapping is a great way to make MT, but investing into certain cards is also another great technique to use to, you know, double or triple your MT. So we're gonna get into it. Without further ado, if you guys are ready for this video, make sure to go down below and smack that like button. Let's try to get 180 likes on this video. Hit that subscribe button as well if you're new to the channel. And let's get right into it, man. Let me show you guys how you can make some MT without really sniping and just basically staying patient and playing the waiting game, man. Let's get into it. Without further ado, man, let's go. Okay, guys, so we have a lot of different cards to talk about today. I'm not going to try to make this video too, too long because I do want to, you know, make it quicker for those of you guys that might not have a lot of time. But... We're going to start off with the first investment that I think is a great investment. It happens all the time. It's always a good thing to actually put MT into, and it is a playbook. Now, you guys might be wondering, why would I put MT into a playbook? Well, I'm going to explain that in a second. But if you take a look at the market for bronze Nets playbooks, obviously, you want to be looking at the Nets playbook. Make sure it's on Nets. You don't want just any bronze playbook. you got to have the Nets. Now, this playbook right here has quick through STS, and a lot of people love that play. It helps through online challenges. I mean, offline challenges, sorry. So, for example, sim challenges or what we potentially might be getting on Monday, which is playoff sim challenges. It helps a lot with those. So, a lot of people, you know, look for this playbook quite a bit on the market. And right now, as you can see, it is quite expensive already, which is kind of weird to say, considering, you know, it's a couple of days before we even get content. We haven't even been confirmed anything, but it always fluctuates with even the littlest bit of news comes out. So, right here, man, bronze playbook nets. You can even snipe it if you want, but I definitely suggest picking up a couple of these. I have a couple sitting in my auction house waiting for new sim challenges to come out. We're all pretty much expecting sim challenges. You know, it's been hinted at multiple times. And if these sim challenges come out, you can definitely see this Nest playbook go up at least like four to 5,000 MT. Now, is it guaranteed? No, none of these investments are actually guaranteed. Obviously, you know, you got to have some luck if you want them to go up. But at the end of the day, if you snipe them like I do, I usually never buy them for full price. I wait, sit there for like an hour. Try to snipe some of them. If you snipe a couple of them, hold on to them for a couple of days. It might be a great investment for you guys. I'm telling you, they always go up in value definitely when challenges come out. And, you know, if we're looking at all the hints, man, there's definitely some challenges coming out Monday. Most likely, everyone's expecting playoff sims. So the first thing to invest into, definitely would recommend this Nest playbook right here. Not too expensive, very underrated, and not a lot of people do it. And there's a lot of MT to be made if you get these prices, if you get these playbooks for the right price, I should say. And um, yeah, very simple way to start it. Nets playbook, definitely look into that. Pretty much a guaranteed profit right there. Let's move into the next thing, slash player. Okay, guys, the next player you want to invest into is, of course, my boy, Luca. Now, this card right here, you don't want to invest into it just because he's a good point guard. You want to invest into him because of the set he is a part of. Now, as you guys can see right here, he is a part of the Prime Series 3 set. What does that mean? It means there's going to be a reward for that set that is an Opal or above. And it's going to be most likely a hyped up Opal. Now, as you guys can see, Luca's price at the current moment is like 285, maybe even 250 at some points in the day. You just got to get him for a good price. If you could get this card for 250,000 MT, first of all, not only are you getting yourself a great player for your team, while you wait for him to go up, you could simply just throw him in on your lineup. You know what I'm saying? I would just put him in right here if I was you guys. You know, put him in off the bench and just have him sit at the back of point guard slot or... If you don't have a better point guard than Luca, you can pick up Luca, have him on your team, use him for a couple of months or a month or so, depending on how long it takes 2K to actually finish this, um, you know, Prime Series 3 set. And once this Prime Series 3 set reward gets announced, that's when you want to sell him. Now, I'm going to guess that this Prime Series 3 award set is going to be fire. Like, I'm telling you, it's going to be some heat. There's no way they do something weak. Even with this KG that was a part of, like, you know, the last set, which was the Series 2 set. If I could find it over here, it's right here. Even with this KG right here, man, a lot of prices actually went up. For example, Oscar, at one point, he was like 280, 350K. Now he's around like 400. KD even went up. He was like 400. Now he's like 500 plus. And then Simmons, I got this Simmons for 450. Fully evoed out. I didn't have to do any work. And right now he's over 600. So investing into Luka early on is definitely not a bad idea. I'm going to be looking to do this very, very soon. I'm trying to snipe one. But hey, if you can't snipe it and you want to buy it, you can go ahead and buy it. Most likely a safe investment because worst case scenario, you lose a couple of thousand MT while being able to use this card for a couple of months. All I'm going to say, man, definitely would recommend this. Definitely a big, big, um, you know, risk because you're investing 275K. But at the end of the day, it could pay off and you could make upwards of, you know, 200 plus thousand off one card. And if you choose to invest in some more, you can make even more. Again, it's a risk. But hey, if you want, if you want to take that risk, 
you could definitely profit big time so give it a go you know make your own decision at the end of the day i'm just giving you guys suggestions on what to invest in so you guys can pick by yourselves but luca is definitely a card that i can see going up in the near near future okay guys the next investment is a very very low-key investment now this one right here might not make you any mt at all it might not work out but at the end of the day it has potential and that's all that matters so first of all it is leap year players now what you want to look at obviously you know what i'm saying take a look at t mac clearly t mac clearly t mac is on the ttl board you guys know that a lot of people are pulling him there's way more t max than usual on the market selling right now and he's still maintaining his price which is pretty crazy he's still around like 450,000, which is pretty insane if you ask me but the thing i can tell you guys right now man since he is in the ttl boards or on the ttl boards more of his cards will go on the market and as you guys can see this dwight howard people love free rewards people love locking in sets for some reason and all the cards in a set usually go up when one of the main cards that was usually the most expensive drops so this set right here it might be smart to invest into a couple of you know these lower tier cards maybe pick up a couple nate robinsons for cheap obviously you're not going to be risking much here because you could literally get these cards for like a thousand a piece and honestly if you're risking a thousand mt can't really go wrong with that um worst case scenario you lose like 200 mt which is not bad at all i'm telling you right now man this could pay off a little bit as you guys remember earlier in the year if we take a look at the moments of the week sets i think it was um this one right here if i'm not mistaken or it might have been this one it was this one right here when pink diamond zach levine you know when this donovan mitchell which was the most expensive card in the game dropped in a locker code everybody else in the set went up in price so it's kind of the same idea right here with this leap year set all i'm gonna say man give it a chance spend a couple of thousand mt maybe put 10k aside invest it into like kenneth farid or nate robinson or even diallo diallo is not a bad one at all and honestly just hold on to them see if they go up see if they rise up if not it's fine honestly you're going to be losing a little bit of mt here and there but it's worth the risk in my opinion i'm definitely going to be doing that later tonight on stream trying to pick up a couple of those cards for very very cheap and see what happens with their prices man because you never know they might skyrocket okay another quick thing i'm going to mention obviously you might want to buy some lower tier cards so what i mean by that as you guys remember with the spotlight sim sets over here if you guys go all the way to any random team like this uh you guys can see it says you must use at least three players from the magic on your team a lot of these prices kind of skyrocketed the second those challenges came out so one thing i can recommend to you guys go on the 600 filter or go on you know up to 650 and honestly just buy anything that pops up um buy any single card that pops up and just keep it in your collection because at the end of the day if these cards rise like they did on the you know first day of spotlight sims which you know usually they rose to like i think 950 or a thousand was the cheapest one if they do that again you're in to make a big big profit in worst case scenario you're not really losing anything especially if you're on the 600 filter you're probably going to get a couple of pink diamonds if you sit on it long enough as well so you literally cannot go wrong with this method this is like the safest investment on the list pick up any cards for now honestly anything you have in your auction house like i have a bunch of these golds and stuff i'm holding on to all these gold silvers and all that waiting for these playoff spotlight sims to potentially drop and i'm kind of hoping they drop because if they do I'm definitely going to make a lot of MT off them. So definitely I would recommend you guys, you know, go ahead, hop on the 600 filter and just pick up absolutely anything. Yes, absolutely anything that pops up on that filter and hold on to it until potentially we get a spotlight sim. Now, the next thing right here is, of course, Tracy McGrady once again. Now, this T-Mac right here, we're not talking about the Opal because the Opal is still maintaining its value at around half a million. Pink Diamond T-Mac, though, however, has dropped really quite a bit to be completely honest now this one right here actually just ended at 133 which is weird because yesterday this guy was a buy now at around 90,000, and i guarantee you today sometime later today this t-mac will be going for the same amount he'll be going for around 90k what you could do is actually scoop up that t-mac and sell him in the early morning right now when i'm recording this it's kind of earlier on in the day if you sell him early on in the day there won't be as many t-macs being you know put up on the market because obviously not a lot of people play tto early morning so definitely man you guys can see right here 150k if you get him for 90 you can make 50,000 in basically a day yesterday he was a buy now today he's not a buy now i'm pretty sure later on today he's gonna go into a buy now right here man i could pick that up right there i'm not going to i'm gonna play it smart and wait till later today when he actually drops even more trust me though if you even snipe him you could probably make an easy profit off him definitely would recommend go ahead and give it a go boys and um yeah let's move into basically the last thing that i can recommend for you guys hey boys the last thing right here on my list is invest into budget cards that are currently in packs so if you take a look at the you know packs that are out right now there isn't really that many crazy budget cards that are in the game or in packs right now obviously one i would recommend is this nicholas batum now if you guys remember dino dino was in packs a couple of weeks ago and he was actually around thirty thousand mt if you take a look at his price right now since he's left packs he has kind of skyrocketed in price and i'm telling you bro it would have been a very smart thing to do 
to invest into him, but hey, we can't really turn back time right now. What we can do is kind of follow the same pattern. Budget cards always tend to go up. You guys see this Dino right here? He was literally sitting at like 35k last week, and now this week, the cheapest one on the market is 51,000, which is absolutely insane to say because he's gone up over like 15 to 20k literally overnight. Basically, obviously, it's been like a week or so, but it's just an expression. All I'm gonna say, man. One great thing you can do is invest into budget cards. If you think there's a really, really good budget card that everyone's hyping up in packs, for example, this Batum. This Batum's not bad. You might be able to make a little bit of profit on him once he leaves the market. All I can tell you is, man, invest into budget cards. This is for future advice as well. Use this for any pack that comes out. I always do this, man. My number one tip for you guys, if you don't want to snipe to make MT, invest into these budget cards. I took an L not investing into Dino because he was a little bit too expensive for my taste. But if you guys invested into Dino, you know you would make a lot of MT right now. You would be sitting on a huge, huge, huge profit. So definitely my recommendation to you guys is go ahead and invest into any budget cards that are hyped up in packs. It might not be these packs. You can wait till Monday. You can wait till the next pack drop. All I'm saying, and if you guys see a budget card that is 100%, you know, a good card that you guys know is a good card that you guys have probably tried out or seen videos on i guarantee you he will go up like that dino went up and like a lot of budget cards over the year have went up in price quite a bit for example man this bonga once again he was very very cheap at one point on the market and now he's actually kind of gone up in price this happens with a lot of cards i actually invested into this bonga i sold him when he was kind of lower than he is right now but i got a ton of bongas for like 4k when he came out and now He's around like 12, 10K, which is not bad at all. I'm telling you, if you put a lot of MT into this, you can make a ton of profit. All I'm saying is, man, be careful and just trust yourself into investing into the right card. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the video, man. I know it was kind of quick. It was kind of, you know, just an informative video letting you guys know what I would personally invest into. You guys can take this advice or not. Again, it's not guaranteed. You know, I'm not going to say, oh, you're going to make 500K on this card. You might not make anything. You might lose profit as a matter of fact, but it's your decision to, you know, risk it it's your decision to you know do your own research on prices look at how prices change all i'm saying bro these are the cards i would recommend to invest into nothing else is pretty much a safe investment obviously every investment is a risk at the end of the day but if you risk it you could come out with a lot of profit in the end and all i'm gonna say man safest investments are probably the 600 mt investments and then wait for spotlight sims as well as those brooklyn nest playbooks you can never go wrong with those especially if you snipe them all i'm gonna say man is invest wisely don't waste all your mt waste to a point where you know if you lose half of it you won't be that mad at yourself and um yeah it's pretty much it for the video if you guys enjoyed it or learned anything from this go down below smack that like button for me man let's try to get 200 likes on this video if possible hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel we are on the road to 50,000. and make sure you have those noties on because we will be dropping another video later today as well as potentially a stream tonight so stay tuned you don't want to miss it out miss out on it i can't even speak english out here man you guys know the vibes but I've been grinding, man, saving up packs and everything. You guys might see a pack opening soon again. I'll see you guys in the next one, though, man. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay blessed. Invest wisely. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. My principal told me that I have potential. Yeah, he pull up, but he pull up in rental. You niggas don't know, you don't know none of my pain. Remember the days when I walked in the rain? I'm going way harder because it's a new season. I do what I do and I got all my reasons. And when I win, I never feel like I won because everybody.